So Google has just had its keynote for 2025, the Google I.O keynote and particularly focused around AI. The updates have been absolutely amazing. In this video I want to go through Lyria 2 that's about to launch and what the capabilities are in terms of AI music. Hey everyone this is Barry from Music Tech Info. I hope you're doing well today. So I cannot believe the amount of AI announcements that Google has just literally gone through in one keynote. You know if I did a a video about every single topic it, it would probably go on for five hours because of my own thoughts and things but particularly as a music tech info channel i really did want to focus on the lyria 2 platform um lyria 1 was announced i think it was about a year ago now maybe two and the new capabilities are going to be huge so that's part of google deepmind now google deepmind you've got your gemini 2.5 um, generation which is the most intelligent model created which is brilliant there's just so much stuff we've got vo3 now which is only on the m most expensive tier like 250 dollars a month but that shows what's coming soon so vo3 is like the video generation but what it also includes is audio so sound effects background ambience and talking it does all of that in one go now previously we had um music generators and we had video generators and the two never merged and now Google has really done this state-of-the-art video generation model that now includes audio voices you name it straight away with just a text prompt so it's just amazing absolutely amazing what's being done at the moment now apologies if I'm a bit laggy it's because this website is a bit heavy intensive um, but so this is a vo3 example of, of the kind of quality of the video that can be produced now if we actually enable the audio you'll understand what I mean this ocean it's a force a wild untamed might and she commands your awe with every breaking light this ocean it's so if you had the waves going on in the background the, the voice of the gentleman there you really it felt really real you know Add, adding sound to this is is a whole new ball game uh, i just think it's incredible now as i said this is only on the highest tier at the moment but you know eventually it will come onto the the main tier google has basically announced like a new ai subscription which is around 20 dollars a month and um the highest tier is 250 dollars a month which i think three months half price but, you know, this is what will be coming to all of us for just $20 a month. That capability is incredible, I personally think. We then have capabilities like sound effects, ambient noise, dialogue to your creations. Um, so let's just have a listen to this owl and fox, shall we? So I'll just enable this sound. Music there. They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. What manner of magic is that? That is just incredible. It, it brings so much to life now. You know, it's absolutely amazing what this model can do. You got cars here. And it really accurately develops the sound. And forgetting the capabilities of the video itself. So there you go, that is VO3 coming soon. Wow, just wow. Amazing. So we've got VO and we've also got Lyria. So this is number two. And you need to join the waitlist to actually get access to this. Um, but there are some examples about this. So this is their latest music generation model from Google. So it goes on to say that Lyria 2 develops 
high fidelity music, which is what they did before, and professional graded audio capturing subtle nuances across a range of genres and intricate compositions. We've got powerful composition and endless exploration. So it's an advanced AI model developed with inputs and insights from musicians and producers. Artists can use text prompts to shape the music while controlling the key, the beats per minute, and other characteristics as well. So we've got high fidelity music. It's, it's claiming 48 kilohertz stereo audio, which is probably the best quality you can get um, for seamless integration into any project, which is really cool, into your digital audio workstation if you're a musician. You then can control the fine details within your composition so that you can create pieces that match your intent and vision with diverse musical pop possibilities, such as genres and styles. So you can have classical, jazz, pop, electronic. Musicians can steer compositions towards their tastes and explore diverse musical ideas along the way. Musicians can create pieces in countless styles. Here are some examples to showcase its potential and range. So let's click on play and have a listen to this. This energy is pulling me out the shadows where I'm meant to be. Can I just say, I don't know whether it's obvious on here, the quality really does seem to outperform the likes of Suno, Yujo and Refusion. The stereo mix is huge. Like the width of the, the sound qualities is exceptional. The quality of the voices is really good. I know Suno is now on par with that same kind of quality with the voice, but I'm really kind of intrigued on how far this this model has come. Diamonds, they sparkle so bright. A ballroom filled with folks dressed up for the night. What's interesting is, yes, the quality is amazing, but is the actual composition as good? Can you produce hits with this thing? Um, you know, that's something that's a bit of a unknown at, the, at this stage, but certainly the quality is there. It sounds radio quality to me. So they're calling it your creative partner. So you can keep the music flowing because you can create new starting points. Um, you can make suggestions for harmonies or draft even longer arrangements if you want to. It claims that it helps musicians focus on their broader visions or jump past writers, past writers block, which is definitely what I found with AI music as a musician myself, is it really can help with generating new ideas and enhancing, you know, your creativity. Um, says accelerating creativity, so composing complex passages and creating variations on things can take hours or even days. So this accelerates the process, allowing musicians to bring their musical ideas to life in no time. And you can uncover new styles, unfamiliar genres, techniques and possibilities, experiment with unexpected melodies and harmonies, can broaden musical understanding with help people explore new creative avenues. So that's really cool. So we've got pretty much you can view the prompt here. So we've got Hazy UK Garage. So we've got here Hazy Fractured UK Garage, bedroom recording, distorted and mel melancholic, instrumental blender, fractured drum patterns, vocal samples that have been manipulated, haunting ambient textures, featuring heavy sub bass, distorted synths, and sparse melodic fragments. I hope it suggests this kind of prompting because this is a lot to think of.
that's pretty cool. That's that's very impressive. Um, we've got some others here. I'm trying to find ones that may not have been included in that original video. I think they pretty much all were anyway. So supporting Musical AI Sandbox. Um, it's a tool we've developed from insights from music industry professionals. As I said before, a musical playground, creative create new instrumental or vocal parts for existing pieces, which is really good to know, or explore brand new directions if you want to. Um, Sandbox helps artists push into unexplored territory from unique soundscapes to songs that take musicality to its limits, built with and for musicians. So we created the Music AI Sandbox in collaboration with artists. Their input has guided our development, resulting in a set of responsibility, sorry, responsibly created tools that are practically useful for all artists of all levels, opening doors to music creation. So they've done some collabs with artists in the past, which I'm not going to put on. I think I did that on my last video for this earlier model. Um, safety from development to deployment. We believe AI should enhance human creativity and not replace it. We're working directly with artists to gather feedback and to develop guardrails that address their concerns. You know, there's going to be issues surrounding, for, for example, copyright, that kind of thing, ripping off all other artists' works. By doing this, we ensure this tool empowers creators and helps them realise the possibilities of AI in their work. They're also launching, deploying it, sorry, with their latest privacy, safety and security technologies, such as watermarking tool SynthID, which they did announce on the keynote, which will in, embed like a digital signature, if you like, directly into the audio output. This makes it identifiable as AI generated content, um, just so that it's obvious to maybe listeners or platforms, whoever wants to know that. And that's quite an interesting thing because that's something that UGO has recently partnered with the company doing the same thing. And there's a lot of people that have created AI music that aren't really happy about that and just really concerned about the risk involved. Like if they haven't met the terms of service properly, what's going to happen to them? Um, are there going to be lawsuits in the future? So it, it does raise a lot of concerns for people that have actually been using the tool uh, for their own purposes. So it'll be interesting to find out how things go on from here. Um, in terms of limitations, while it demonstrates incredible power of AI for music generation, we're still working to develop and refine its performance, which is probably why it's a waitlist at the moment. And it's currently only available to a limited number of trusted testers who are helping to develop the tool and refine the experience. So you can join the waitlist with just a typical Google form. And uh, so, yeah, just so much going on with Google. I mean, everybody's been blown away by the just the, the video generation model, the text model, Gemini 2.5 Pro is just amazing. The text to image model, Imogen, um, 